In our latest walkthrough video, we're going to demonstrate how to create this screwdriver that you see on the screen. It's really made up of a series of three components. So we have a handle up here as one component. We have the shank here as well. And then we have a tip. So you can see handle, shank, and tip. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to start with a new design. And I'll go ahead and get it saved, right? So for me, this will be screwdriver 2. Put it in the right folder. All right. So I'm going to also, this one I'm going to change over for units. Let's go ahead and convert this thing over to millimeters this time. So now we'll go to assemble and we'll say new component. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just start naming things. So for this, I'll put handle. All right. And I'll go up here to create. And I'll just say cylinder. I'll pick whatever plane I want to start with. And I'll say, let's make the diameter of the cylinder. Let's go with, I don't know, let's take 28 millimeters. And I'll hit enter. And then for my length, I'm just going to make it 100. So something like that. And then we'll click OK. All right, so really, I've already got the handle of the screwdriver taken care of. Let's take a look back at our original, though. And we've got a lot more happening there, right? So let's talk about these grooves here. So I'm going to rotate it around. I'm going to go to the back of this thing. So I'll click here. And I'm going to start with a sketch on there. And I'm going to take a circle. And I'll just come over here, you know, line it up with the origin. Come over here. Let's make this one 6 millimeters. Let's go ahead and cut it here. So I'll go ahead and hit Finish Sketch. And I'll hit Extrude. Let me rotate this so we can actually see things. Right, so I got that. I was clicking here and I'm going to drag it back in there. Let's say 75 millimeters. There we go. All right, so I've got that groove put in there. So after I've created this, I'm going to go up here to create now and I'm going to put a circular pattern together. So pattern, and there's circular pattern. Make sure it says features, which it probably won't by default. But I'll click that and then for axis, I'll just click the outside of the cylinder. I do want six of those, so I hit OK. And there they are. Now we'll go ahead and we'll fill it the back edge. I'm going to click on each one of these lines today. So like this. And I think I'm going to make that 10. Kind of round the, the handle off a little bit. Let's go ahead and put some fillets down. So we'll click on these little shapes right in here. I'm going to go ahead and change those over to be 1 millimeter. And I'll rotate it around and I'm going to get the others as well. Next thing we'll do, there's a little groove here, isn't there? So let's take a look at our original. We're talking about right here, there's this little groove. We're going to use an ellipse tool for that. So this is kind of a new tool for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to origin. I'll look at the XZ. I'll look at the YZ. Now YZ plane runs right down the middle, doesn't it? So that'll be fine. I'll right click on that and say create sketch. I'm going to kind of put this in the center and zoom in a little bit. I'll go up here to create, and I'm going to choose ellipse. I'm just going to kind of come right over here on the line. And I'm just going to draw out. Four by millimeters there. Let's make that be 20. I'll click, and then I'll move the mouse, and this is going to allow me to kind of set the height. And let's make that be 6. Now we'll put one more dimensional constraint on here. We'll say, give me a dimension from the center point of the ellipse to the line. And let's make that be 12. So now I'll hit Finish Sketch. And I'm going to go to Revolve. So I'll hit Revolve, and I'm going to click here. And you notice it gets all red, and that's OK. And notice how Operation changed to Cut. That's good, too. So I hit OK. And now we've got that little groove there. So last thing, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to actually just go to hole right here. And I'll click there on that face. And what I want to do is drag the hole so that the, the center of the hole here will line up on the origin, right? So we want something going like that. And I am going to adjust some numbers here. So let's see here. For our distance, let's say that we want it to go in... Let's do 50 millimeters. So if it's not 50, go ahead and change it. For our diameter, let's go ahead and make that 10. And then for our drill point, instead of having it at an angle, which I think is the default, see how it turned it to an angle here, let's do make it flat. So something like that. And then we'll hit OK. 
Now, important step here. I'm going to rotate this in such a way that I can kind of see the inside there so that I can see that. Now I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to activate the whole screwdriver. And we have a big problem with that sometimes because what we don't do is we're going to activate it. We're going to create another new component. And if we don't go up here, then it becomes the next component is going to be part of this component. We need it to be part of the overall screwdriver. So I'm going to go back up to a symbol now and I'll say new component. And for this one, I'm going to just call this one the shank. I hit OK. And now I'll go to new sketch and I'm going to really just kind of click in there on that, on the face of that hole that I drew in there. And I'll hit extrude actually. And for this, let's make the shank be, uh, let's say 150. So you see that? I didn't even have to draw any sketch at all in there. I just used the, the face of the hole right there, didn't I? So there I am. I'll just hit OK. So then we've got one more component to make. So same procedures. I'm going to go up here and activate the entire assembly, right? Now I'll go up here to assemble and say new component. And for this one, I'm just going to call this one the tip. Notice there it is created. I'll start with a new sketch, and I'm just going to click on the end here. Okay, I will go ahead this time, and I really could have followed the same procedures. I'm going to extrude this thing now. Let's let's make the tip be uh, 10 millimeters in length. Now I'm going to go back here like I did before, and I'm going to find a parallel plane. So I think that our YZ plane was good at that. Yeah, it's way back here, but it is it's running the way we need it to. So I hit Create Sketch. And I'm going to take, and I'll say create, and I'm going to go to arc. And I'll say three-point arc. I'm going to kind of come over here and put it on a place, or put it where it kind of snaps to. So I've got up, up about two little grid spaces here. I'll go there. And I'll do the same thing over here, two grid spaces away from the line. And then for the third point, I'm just going to kind of bend it a little bit. We're going to dimension some things anyway. Let's go ahead and throw some dimensions on here. So I'm going to click on the origin right here. See how it kind of clicks in? And then I can come up here and kind of click on the arc like this. And I want to make that distance 0.5 millimeters. That's 0.5. All right, so after we place this 0.5 in here, you notice that this kind of came undone up here. So let's kind of focus on that area. So we're going to do some fancy work here now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Create, and we're going to say Project. So I'm going to project some geometry here, and I'm really just going to project this side over here. So all I did was click that line, and then I hit OK. Now, I'll go up here to the horizontal and vertical, and I'll click this point, and I'll click this point as well. And see how that puts them together? After I put them together, I'm going to grab my line tool now, and I'm just going to close this off. So I'll come up here and draw a line to the corner, and I'll take my line tool and come over here as well. I'll go ahead and hit Finish Sketch, and I will extrude this piece. Now this one's a different one, so I'm going to click it, but I need to, on, on direction, I need it to actually say Symmetrical. And then I'll drag it out so that it cuts all of that off at the same time. So now we've got one side of that taken care of. So we're going to use the Mirror feature now, and what we're going to do, we'll go up here to Create, and we'll say Mirror right here. It's going to say, all right, what do you want to mirror? So the features is already in, so we'll click there. For mirror plane, I'm going to click that, and then I have to make sure the origin is expanded over here. So if I look at the planes, plane, what I'm trying to do is find a plane that goes through there. Looks like the mirror plane, we're going to just choose XZ here, and that will mirror it and hit OK. And we are officially done with that tip now. So now activate the entire assembly, and let's zoom out. Let's see what we've got here. So we do have it. All right? Now remember, just like we could before, I'll go up here now and I'll kind of right click on the handle. And I'll say physical material. I'll say physical material and I'll make the, uh, let's make it plastic. Let's go ahead and just move it to ABS in case we wanted to 3D print the handle. Right? So I moved it to ABS. And then I will go ahead and hit close.